Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer and bridal boutique owner based in San Diego. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I used my wedding photos from my actual wedding. So I am back after a little bit of a break. I have been super busy just wrapping up my weddings for this season. I went to New York for Bridal Fashion Week for my boutique, um, and that is a fun trip that I take um, for my boutique in order to meet with the designers that I carry and buy the gowns that they have put out for their upcoming seasons. So I made my selections to figure out which gowns I wanted to purchase, and then those gowns come in around February and March that I purchased, and then they become part of our boutique so that was a really fun process and then I also went to Florida um, after two weeks from New York and then I shot um, for my client some maternity photos and her baby shower so that was super fun so I have just been super busy with traveling for work and lots of stuff going on at my boutique so I'm sorry that I didn't have time to film some more videos for you guys but I am hopefully back now for a while I'm going into my slow season so I am here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I used my own wedding photos because I am a firm believer that you should not just have digital files that sit on your computer and sit on your phone and that's pretty much all you do with them. Maybe you post a little to Instagram and then they just basically, I don't know, go to like die on your computer and you never really do anything with them. You don't get to enjoy them in your home. You don't see them when you walk around your house. They're not really in your face and you're not really utilizing them to the best of what you purchased them for and so they're not really the best investment. So I really feel like you should be seeing them, using them, and they should be more tangible than just on a screen. That's just my personal bias as a wedding photographer. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of the um, ways that I used my wedding photos. I think my favorite is my album, but I also love seeing them printed in our home. Um, our house does not really have that much wall space. We have a ton of windows in our condo, which is great because we have a beautiful view of our park but I'm gonna show you guys what we did use. So let's go on a little tiny journey of our house and then I will show you guys our wedding album. Okay, so this is one of the walls in our living room and we've got a triptych here, which just means a series of three photos. So what we did was we printed um, two portraits of just ourselves and in the middle we printed our wedding party. So um, I chose this print here. This was kind of a wider shot. So we didn't want every picture that we printed of ourselves to be like, bam, up close, our faces. So what we wanted for one of the shots was more of a wider venue environmental photo. So we printed that. And then for the next photo, we wanted our wedding party because we wanted a photo with our friends and family. And then for the third photo, we chose just a cute little photo of me kissing David on the cheek. So that was our final photo. So this is our series of three photos from our wedding. So this is kind of our wedding wall in our house. Um, these are a little bit small for this wall, but it <laughs> just has to work. So we did the best that we could. Um, so I am a fan of um, Kind of getting prints for larger walls as large as you can so a lot of people feel like 8 by 10 is a large print it's really not so the reason that i didn't go larger with these prints is because i actually already had these frames so if i didn't have frames already to begin with i would have gone a little bit larger for this space by just a couple of inches to fill out the wall a little bit more so i recommend that you guys kind of fill out your wall as much as possible so if you have blank space in your home that would be really great for your wedding photos fill out your space um, you could have also done a collage on this wall so I'll show you guys a collage that I have of my kitten um, photos just to show you guys an example of something that you could do maybe on a smaller scale with your wedding photos something a little bit creative so I'll show you guys that just so you have a little example of something that could be a really fun idea for more of a um, not a messy collage but just kind of like a fun not so linear type of movement Okay, I am here with my wedding album. Um, I really went all out on my album. <laughs> One, because the costs for me are more affordable because I um, have access directly to my print lab. And two, because I'm all about albums. I feel like everybody should have a wedding album. They are just so amazing to hold. Um, my album is inside this beautiful wooden box. It is, um, embossed with David and Kevin um, on it right here. So it says David and Kevin. And then inside is my actual album. So you take the cover off, the album is here. 
um, for album covers, if you're trying to figure out what color cover, I often recommend maybe something that matches the wedding color palette or something that matches maybe the colors in your home. Um, if you don't want to go with one of those, you can go with something that's just really, I don't know, timeless and simple, like a neutral color. So something like that. We chose to do our wedding color, um, which was blue. So we had a lot of blues in our wedding. I kind of want a pink. My husband was like, I don't want pink. <laughs> so we chose blue because um, we had a lot of pink in our wedding as well. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to show you guys um, most of the album. Okay, so here's my album. Um, I have it saying David and Kevin down here in the bottom. So it was just a gold foil. So that is my album. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is definitely something that I really love. Whenever family comes over, we usually pull it out and look at it together. So it's a really nice time to open it up and enjoy it. Um, I highly recommend it. If you guys can get an album through your wedding photographer, they have access to much higher quality albums than usually consumers are able to find. So they're gonna last you um, usually an entire lifetime, if not more, multiple lifetimes. So that's what your professional quality is going to get you. A lot of consumer grade albums are not meant to last multiple lifetimes, so they might not be able to be handed down to your children. They might start falling apart at the binding, um, or maybe the paper or print quality is not going to be the right color, something like that. It really just depends on what you're willing to spend. You kind of get what you pay for. Um, so some consumer grade are pretty good, but again, they might not last like multiple lifetimes if you're looking to pass this down as an heirloom piece, something like that. So that's why the professional grade is always going to be like the really top tier, even if it is really expensive. Um, you can always try to go to your photographer like a year later, maybe an anniversary gift. You don't have to buy it right um, when your wedding is happening and when your wedding just wrapped up. So you can always get it some point down the road. Maybe you save up for like a year or two years, get it for a five your anniversary maybe you can go back to your photographer and say is it too late to get an album you can always try and ask so 
it might not be too late. I know for my couples, it's never too late. They can always come back and ask me for an album. So I'm happy to make one for them. And it's a really fun process to design something special and beautiful for them. But I hope this inspires you guys to get some ideas going for using your wedding photos. Um, again, you can always do some small things like sending out thank you notes to your um, guests that have a little card in there with a picture on it from your wedding. You can do something like that if you're able to get a picture turned around from your wedding photographer early enough. You can always ask for one single sneak peek to do something like that. Um, some other ideas include putting little pictures on your fridge so that you see them every time you open it up for getting a meal or something like that. Even if you're just doing something digital, making your phone backdrop some picture from your wedding. My husband has a picture from our wedding as his phone backdrop. Um, I made my husband's contact photo the picture of him seeing me for the first time on our wedding day. So every time he calls me, I see that picture. So that's another way you can use your wedding photos that make sure that they're not just like living in like your phone's folder, you see it actively. So something like that can be really creative that doesn't involve printing. But again, I highly recommend printing your photos because tangible and enjoying them in your home, seeing them when you walk around, making sure that they're like actually in your face and you get to enjoy them is a really great investment from your wedding photos because you spent a lot of money on these and you wanna make sure that you're actually getting your investment out of them and you're enjoying them and you're seeing them in your day-to-day -day lives and they're not just living deep within your phone or your computer. So again, get inspired by this. I hope you guys print your wedding photos in some form or fashion and that you get to enjoy them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.